Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. All the information will be found there. All right, guys, if you guys are interested in purchasing the Tripper Protection Bracelets, okay, they're all $22.22. This is the Love Bracelet, this is the Tripper Protection Bracelet, and this is the Wealth Bracelet, okay, guys? If you guys are interested, just text me, 864-584-4367. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right in. Take what resonates, leave the rest. You know, this is a uh, general, all right, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see what we got. What do we got for Aquarius, Angel Guide, Spirit Guide, to go to the light, clear, precise messages, breakup. Somebody is having a breakup or is going through a breakup. Okay, walking away, separation, and end. So something is shattered. Somebody's relationship has broken up. Something has worked in divine timing. Okay, for some of you, this is not you guys. This could be the person that you were dealing with. All right, wrong time, right time. All right, it says their wait. All right, some of you have been waiting. All right, but there could be somebody that's breaking up or they're going through a breakup of some sort. All right, you, have, um, you hold the crown. <laughs> All right, owner, master, top level. Give me one more. Mystery. You could be a mystery to this person. All right, unknown, puzzle, illusions. All right, you can you keep on confusing these people. You keep on confusing them with your mystery because you're so enlightened. All right, you're two, you're ten steps ahead. Green light. All right, and they're over here in the yellow light still, and the red light. <laughs> red light district could be significant. I don't know why I just heard that. All right, mirror. Somebody could be marrying you, reflection, reference, distinguish, and appearance. Somebody could be trying to be like you or something like that. That could be significant for some of you. Let's see. What is this breakup? Actually, I want to go straight to the tarot for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Angel guys, go ahead and give like here. Precise messages. Put in my aquas. What is this breakup? Walking away, separation, right? You got the Page of Pentacles, so a Virgo Taurus Capricorn could be significant, right? You could be getting some sort of message, all right? Somebody could have been breadcrumbing you, so you decided to break up with them, or um, this could be the person that you're dealing with. What is this Page of Pentacles spirit? Yeah, they've gone through a breakup, okay? Somebody's hitting rock bottom now. Gemini energy. Somebody feels like they were backstabbed and betrayed, and that's the reason why they're walking away. What is this? Justice, Libra energy, right? For some of you, this person could be going through a divorce or something like that, or you guys could have just gone through a divorce, All right? Maybe children are involved here, All right? So the justice is showing up. So someone here is trying to balance out their, their situation. What's this justice? All right, the moon in the reverse with the queen of wands in the reverse. Somebody here is very vicious and abusive. It could have been a Aries, Leo, Sag, a Cancer could be significant. All right, a Libra could be significant. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini. All right, but the moon is in the reverse. You're seeking some sort of clarity now. You see something for what it is. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. This is somebody who is very manipulative. Okay, or this could be the person that you're dealing with that's going through some sort of breakup because something is definitely shattered. All right, somebody's illusions came to light it's almost like they were living in some sort of an illusion but they realized it okay so the moon is, the moon is in the reverse right when the moon is in the reverse it's talking about releasing fear and anxiety self-healing trust your intuition all right so your intuit your intuition could be on point right now guys so don't dismiss intuitive downloads what's this moon in the reverse The three of cups okay so somebody could be wanting to reconciliate with you now that they're going through a breakup all right or they're replacing a third party situation or something like that all right so whatever was done to you was done to them <laughs> karma what's this three of cups for some of you here you're gonna get a phone call or a message right this person wants to talk to you they want to let you know <laughs> about the fight that they had okay it could have even included the police or something like that they want to fight for something now 
All right, so somebody sees clearly, somebody sees through it, somebody sees through the facade of someone here with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. This person could have been an Aries Leo Sag. Okay, with the Queen of Wands in the reverse, this person could have like cheated, all right? They could have been a prostitute. Queen of Wands in the reverse is like a whore. Like, hmm. Could even be like a witch of some sort. All right, so something came um, out about somebody like doing some sort of magic. They could have a black cat here. What is this Queen of Wands in the reverse? What's the Queen of Wands in the reverse? Seven of Wands, setting some sort of healthy boundaries. This person's protecting herself. Okay, or you need to protect yourself from this person. What's the Seven of Wands with the Queen of Wands? Here comes the apology, guys. All right, so. <laughs> Somebody wants to fight for something here when after you've gone through whatever it is, this lesson, after you hit rock bottom or something like that. And then you have the seven of wands here. So set healthy boundaries. You've already set these healthy boundaries. Now they want to come and fight for you. All right, with the page of cups showing up there, that could be some sort of an apology of some sort. All right, but you got the page of cups and you had the page of pentacles, which is like breadcrumbing. This person is very insecure or immature. All right, they could be younger than you. Clarify. All right, they could be going through a lot of fights or something like that. Stay away from that shit because they're breaking up at this time. All right, so I feel like divine timing has intervened. Okay, maybe you guys are going to reconciliate or something like that, but let them go through whatever it is that they're going through. What's this page of cups? Oh, uh, spirit. Nine of pentacles. Now they're single. Okay. <laughs> now they're single. They might even come and bring you some sort of like a, an offer of some sort because they see you single. Okay, for some of you, Virgo energy with the Nine of Pentacles, you're self-made. Okay, you are abundant. You are confident. You don't need from anybody. So, let's see. What's this divine timing? Wrong time, right time, wait. What's divine timing here? You got the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. What's the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, Spirit? You got the Two of Wands. Somebody's planning. Okay, maybe they could be at a distance from you or something like that. Um, But with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, that talks about egotistical selfish somebody who was like very they didn't want to work with you they didn't want to team up with you they didn't want to work with you but now they see something they see the world with you okay so divine timing has intervened what's this three of pentacles with the two of wands all right you guys could be the devil capricorn and then you got the queen of cups showing up some of you are very psychic so don't dismiss intuitive downloads okay the devil um it could be capricorn this person could have some sort of addiction of some sort okay they could be obsessively watching you is what i feel all right so they're trying to make a decision here between two people i don't know guys if somebody kept you as an option please go pick the other bitch please go pick that other person you guys need to love yourself and value yourselves Okay, but the Queen of Cups here, the Queen of Cups could be you guys, you're very psychic, you're very intuitive, don't dismiss intuitive downloads right now. This person knows who she wants to give her cup of love to, All right, She knows who to open it up to, okay? So you guys know that you're ready for love or you're emotionally stable, but you are waiting for the right person to give that to, All right? What's this devil? There could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. Capricorn, all right, some sort of uh, the devil with the hermit. They could have ghosted you, okay, or somebody could have ghosted a situation here. For some of you here, this person is ghosting their mother or a mother figure. What is this spirit? 
All right, the Four of Swords. Or maybe they put somebody to rest, a mother figure to rest. All right, so if you guys lost somebody, my condolences. Um, But Four of Swords, okay, with the Hermit, putting someone to rest. What time does it say in that clock? It says 10, 10 o'clock. All right, so some sort of ending. What is this spirit? You got the Eight of Pentacles. What's this Eight of Pentacles? Four of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. All right, now Ace of Wands. For some of you, this person's coming back because they see you with this new passion of beginning. Okay, they see you working diligently. Okay, they see that you've isolated yourself, that you grew. All right, with that time that you've been, maybe it's three years with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, for some of you here, in that time that you've been separated, for some of you, you've been separated for quite some time, but you haven't been fucking around or anything like that. You've been trying to find yourself. Divine timing has intervened. I feel like this is all you. So, Ace of Wands here, um, you have the urge to create, okay, somebody could be watching you as you work or something like that. All right, or you're working on some sort of, like, you have the urge to create and you're working on some sort of, like, new project. Okay, so, for some of you here, you've let the addictions go. What's this devil? Clarify the devil. Five of swords. The devil with the five of swords. Conflict. You might have conflict with a uh, Capricorn. Uh, you got Capricorn. You got Virgo. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Five of swords. Somebody's definitely very jealous of whatever it is that you are working on, guys. So keep on doing it. All right, and do it better than you've ever done it before. Be confident doing it. Okay, so Eight of Pentacles with that Ace of Wands. Whatever this is, this person is doing this obsessive ass. They're so obsessed with you, they, they hate you. They could be from they could be looking at you at a distance or something like that, or from a distance. Two hours away could be significant. Two states away could be significant. Two of Wands. What? Why? Why is this Five of Swords here? Why do they hate you so much? Because you are the Queen of Pentacles? Because you're very reliable, very resourceful, right? Because you're the one that got away. If anything, this is a, a wifey, okay, or a hubby. It doesn't matter the gender, right? This is somebody that you want by your side, right? For some of you, this is a same-sex connection. They see you flourishing. They see you nurturing yourself. For some of you here, you guys could be like green witches here um, or herbalist, herbalist, or um, you could be into botany. You could be like a, a white witch. You know how to manifest things into reality. For some of you here, this person is obsessed with your manifestations or your manifestation skills, right? Because they see you like this. All your wishes are being fulfilled. How the fuck is this happening? Okay, why is this happening? That's why they hate, they're hate. they hating on you. All right, what is crown? Owner, master, top level. That's you guys. Look, exactly, because they see you carrying that crown because of the nine of cups. You can't make it up. It just came out. All right, because they see you wishing. All your wishes are coming true. Wish fulfillment there with the nine of cups. What's this nine of cups? Right, because there's growth, there's expansion, because you're just, you're just over here sitting down waiting on your ships to come in. Okay, you already see them coming in. 93 could be significant, 39 could be significant, that could be somebody's age. Okay, with the three of wands, that could be looking at um, land, okay? That could be entrepreneurship as well, telling me to look. You're going to be moving soon, okay, so that could be for some of you. Because you're moving into calmer waters. Who owns the crown? Who owns? Who wears the crown? I don't know, guys. You could be a, a 
somebody in the public eye or something like that. Somebody who wears a crown. You could be a prince or something like that. I don't know. What's the nine, the nine of cups? Ace of swords. That's the truth. There's some sort of breakthrough clarity that you've had, okay, or this person's had, or whoever it is, but I feel like this reading is more about you, fuck this person, they're going through a breakup, okay, well, they're going through a breakup, their significant other, whoever this third party is, which we're going to expose these haters in a little bit, whoever these people is, they're going through it, that's fine, you're over here with a crown, you're over here speaking your truth, you're over here with this nine of cups, wish fulfillment, okay, you've isolated yourself, you're the queen of pentacles, Nobody could beat you. You you carry that crown, guys. That crown of transformation. That crown of nurturing, resourcefulness. You guys have money. Okay, you're not missing out. They're missing out on you. What is this? All right, Ace of Cups is coming in. They want to op look. They want to offer you. It came out like this. They want to offer you love. I don't know. You got two aces here. They finally see the truth. What's this Ace of Cups? The Tower, Scorpio, what's this Ace of Cups with the Tower? For some of you here, all of a sudden, okay, you just keep on doing you. All of a sudden, you're going to meet someone, okay, and it's going to be like love at first sight kind of thing. Yeah, you're going to meet your King of Pentacles because you're the Queen of Pentacles here. It doesn't matter the gender. Okay, some of you could be in your feminine right now, like um, pampering yourself, being more nurturing instead of putting things into action. But you're going to find somebody that wants to put things into action with you and it's going to be all of a sudden. Okay, for some of you, this person from your past, if you're reconciling with them or something or you're just stuck waiting on them. Okay, because that's what I'm picking up because there's someone here that wants to reconcile badly. Okay, yeah, badly because they're depressed. This is like their person. Okay, for some of you here. This person has to go through this tower and they're going through all that so they could come back into your life. And this could be your divine counterpart. Clarify this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, King of Swords. Very logical, very strategic, methodical in their approach. I'm guess I don't know why I'm picking up same sex connection here. So King of Swords. Or that could be you guys, both. That could be you guys, King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so you guys are both going to put things into action, like I was saying, because over here, you're nurturing at this time. This is divine timing for you to nurture something. Sleep, rest. Okay, because right now your ideas are flourishing. You're putting something into creation. Clarify. You're making good investments as well, guys, so keep up to good work. The fool, take that leap of faith, taking a leap of faith into the unknown. All right, Aquarius energy, that's you guys. There's a sense of innocence, something is new, all right? Somebody wants to take a, a leap of faith to you and offer you some sort of truth, offer you this Ace of Cups and offer you this Ace of Swords. That's truth and love. That's going to be all of a sudden. What's mystery over here? Unknown, puzzle, illusion, and confusion. The Eight of Swords, the Eight of uh, Cups in the reverse. Somebody has abandonment issues. They're confused. What's this Eight of Cups in the reverse? I've done a lot of readings today. <laughs> They're confused. They're holding on to you tightly. It's just, I don't understand it make it make sense if you're holding on to this person so much all right and you love this person so much why are you not reaching out to this person like it's kind of like it's is a you guys could be marrying each other kind of energy all right but at the end of the day somebody's holding on to you to dear life they don't want to let go of you okay four of pentacles they're stagnant. They don't know whether to want. They don't know whether to reach out, whether not to reach out. They have abandonment issues. Okay, they don't know if you feel the same about them because they're confused. You're a, you're a puzzle, like you're a puzzle to them. Okay, so tongue twisting confirmation. You got the six of pentacles. All right, an equal give and take here. You give to the community. 
for some of you that's what you do for a living you give back to the community some way somehow all right and it's a mystery how you do it all right some of you could be like um what is this the knight of pentacles and it's facing towards this way let's see you're very generous okay some of you could be like um let me see what's this knight of pentacles Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy and Capricorn heavy. Right, the Ten of Wands in the reverse. You might help people with their burdens, okay? You could be like a psychiatrist, a counselor of some sort or something like that so that people could release their burdens. Or you could be a tarot reader or something like that, all right? You're a puzzle to them, okay? You are releasing anything that no longer serves you, okay? You guys have been overworked and overburdened too long in your life to be confused about who you need to be with or something like that. For some of you... That's kind of like the energy that you have at this time. You're just kind of like fed up. Three of Swords in the reverse is like, okay, I'm done. What's this Three of Swords in the reverse? You've been heartbroken too many times. For some of you here, you're seeing things from a different perspective. Okay, you need to let go. Somebody's stuck. Somebody's stuck on the past. Somebody's stuck on not receiving closure or not feeling complete okay so pisces energy was this um hangman all right the two of swords and the page of swords in the reverse somebody's watching you okay and that's how they keep on blocking their heart okay for some of you here this person could be like watching you um and whatever it is that you're doing okay so that's what's keeping them stagnant they need to move on with their life or flip the switch you guys so, Two of Swords, Libra energy, Page of Swords, somebody's blindfolded here with the ability to remove that blindfold, make their decision, okay, of some sort, was this Two of Swords, the King of Cups, um, Scorpio, Cancer Pisces, but heavy Scorpio. What is this King of Cups with the Two of Swords? They can't make a decision. Their heart belongs somewhere else or... Yeah, they're about to come in with some sort of like offer, right? Because their heart belongs somewhere else. It's not where they're at. Okay, so they're going to come with some sort of offer. What is this offer, Spirit? Clarify this offer that's coming in. Cancer, okay, an offer could be a car, okay, but an offer could be um, they want to see, they want to win with you. Love wins, okay. <laughs> Love conquers all. The chariot. They want to focus their life with you. They've been debating this for quite some time, too. Look at this. They have a, a sad face here, and they have a happy face right here. All right, so it's almost like a little devil on their shoulder and a little angel on their shoulder. Should I reach out to them? Should I not? Okay, should I do this? Should I not? Something about a car could be significant. Maybe somebody doesn't have a car. What's this chariot? What's this offer with the chariot? The world? They might even offer you to travel with them, guys, okay? Or there's going to be an offer that's coming in. Maybe there's somebody from a distance that like, you're speaking to or something like that that's going to tell you, hey, can you travel over here, get your passport ready or something like that? Aquarius Taurus Leo Scorpio, okay, with the world, all right? There's a sense of you feeling complete here, okay? You complete them. You complete me, all right? The sun and the star. You're going to be very happy, guys. So whatever this is, you're going to be very happy. For some of you here, you guys could be exposing something online. All right. Some of you could be healers or healers online or something like that. Um, motivational speakers or something like that with the star or upcoming stars. They want to grow with you. Somebody wants to grow with you. Somebody wants a reconciliation of some sort. They see happiness with you. 
Right? You're a mystery to them. Hmm. Good. The High Priestess. Some of you could be tarot readers. Alright, so let's continue. I want to clarify um, a couple of these really quick. What's this justice here with this breakup with the Ten of Swords, right? They have some sort of love spell on them, okay? So let them stay over there with the love spell, okay? So what's this spirit with the Ten of Swords? And the Justice. Queen of Wands is in the reverse. Yeah, absolutely. And the Page of Pentacles, this person does do magic. Okay, they could be a witch of some sort. Or somebody's done magic on them. Or somebody's done magic to break you up with your person or something like that. Or to break you up from this person. What's this Queen... Yeah, look, wish. They did some sort of spell. They did some sort of wish of some sort. Okay, for some of you here, you guys you guys could have not every Aquarius is gonna be equal, okay? So some of you could have wished that this person had a breakup or something like that is happening. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> because divine timing always intervenes for a reason. What's this five of wands? Right, so I said earlier they want to fight for you. They want to fight for this now with the seven of wands and that five of wands. Okay, but they're shady. Shady, shady, shady. Was this shady? Blocked. Somebody could have been um, calling somebody blocked or something like that, acting shady. And that caused a fight of some sort. What's this Nine of Pentacles? All right, secret accounts. Nine of Pentacles, secret accounts, Virgo energy. Somebody has some sort of secret account. Somebody acts like they're fucking single. So that's why they're breaking up. All right, anyway, what's the devil over here with divine timing? That's Capricorn energy. The devil could be somebody who's obsessively watching or somebody that has some sort of secret. Um, I'm sorry, some sort of, um, yeah, <laughs> secret. Okay, they're keeping it a secret. They're hush-hush. Right now, they might not be talking about anything because they're going through this. Firestorm, it could be with an Aries, Leo, Sag. Karma, drama, ending, loss, mental breakdown. They could be going through some sort of mental breakdown. Okay, maybe because you're keeping your moves silent and they don't know what's your next move. Stop watching. What's the Five of Swords here? This is like a setup. Somebody here is like a, in a third party or something, a bully. Could be jealousy, All right? This could be like even racism or something like that. What's this Five of Swords? Chaos, ego death, all right, downward spiral. You've had some sort of an awakening and that's why they're so jealous because you put a death to your ego and you are working and operating with the divine because you're operating with spirit. Okay, because you're going by what spirit is telling you to do. Okay, and they're fucked up all over. They're fucked up over you. Okay, because of it. All right, you had the spiritual awakening that they could be wanting. All right, of some sort. So that's why they're jealous and they're obsessively watching. Okay, this could be them and their fucking family. Clarify. Sorry, guys. I'm taking this personal. <laughs> Divine Feminine. All right, because you're a divine feminine, because you guys have been, like I said, the queen of pentacles, nurturing yourself. All right, so. What's the nine of cups over here? Your wish fulfillment with the three of wands, all right, with crown here. They're seeing you. They're watching you crazy, ex, obsessed. They won't let go. They love you. They hate you. They don't know. <laughs> What's this good stuff over here? What is the sun with the star and the world and the chariot? 
some of you could travel and do something online while you're tra while you're traveling some of you could be like going to like um like restaurants or something and doing reviews or even going to like different places or different uh, resorts or something like that and doing reviews or something like that that could be significant somebody is in their memories looking at pictures that's some memories is like nostalgic energy somebody could be a photographer here but they drink to cope with their pain or they use or they whatever they do they whatever numbing agent they want to use whether it's sex whether it's alcohol whether it's alcohol to have sex whatever this is okay they're looking at pictures their memory memory memories of you are leading them to this tower of some sort what's this tower for you guys yeah i said that earlier you guys are marrying each other you guys could be marrying each other And when I say marrying each other, I mean, like, if you don't call them, they don't call you. If you don't call them, th like, something like that, okay? Or if you say hi, they say hi, okay? Or if they say, or if you say night instead of good night, they might have a problem. That's some stupid shit. Some insecure, like, childish stuff. What's the page of, um, cups here? Fake busy. Somebody could even act like they're busy just to not, not answer you or something like that. What's fake busy? Or somebody could be saying, oh, I'm busy so that they could keep you on, on red or something like that. Yeah, you're closing that fucking cycle. Okay, so closing the cycle. They could be saying they're, they're busy because they're trying to break up and close this cycle over here. So some of you could be in contact with them. All right, see, sweet talk. So, go ahead and pull some money cards for you guys. Thank you guys for your guys to give a like. Thank you guys messages for my aquas. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let's see. It helps the channel grow. It helps all these messages get out there. So look, procrastination will not bring any success at this time. This is the best time to put your plans into action. Just do it. Some of you could be into like makeup or makeup artists or something like that or into aesthetics. Just do it. Some of you could wear Nikes a lot. <laughs> but look, she's like painting herself, painting herself, putting makeup on. Makeup could be significant. Somebody wears a lot of makeup. All right, learner. So you guys are learning from something. Okay, so it says here, it's never too late to learn something new. Whether getting back to the um, academy or studying on your own, a new skill or knowledge brings efficiency. So some of you could be going back to school. Just do it. Don't say that you're going to do it. Just do it. Let success make the noise show. All right, shopping. Some of you could be shopping for Christmas already. If you're thinking about making money in retail or online selling, this is a good sign to try it. Online selling, I'm sorry. If you're thinking about making money in retail or online selling, this is a good sign to try it. It also brings an opportunity to take your business to the internet. All right, so some of you could be going online. Something could be going viral, okay, with the star here. And you guys could be upcoming stars because of it. So congratulations. Give me one more. All right, you got scribes. Some of you could be scribes. All right, you have a great talent for writing and content creation. So your words are powerful to influence others that you can use to bring income. So some of you could be influencers. Some of you could be like motivational speakers or something like that. Or that's what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, it make you happy. All right, if something makes you happy, then do that. Forget about the what people think. Forget about what others are going to say or whatever none of their business okay you're here you're gonna teach or you're gonna like um help a lot of people a lot of other people that need your help okay you're a learner in the process of becoming a teacher all right because you wear that crown all right let's see what we got for aquarius angel guys for your guys 
All right, so bravery. Be brave. You're being asked to make a tough decision that you've been putting off because of fear, which is understandable. But you do have the strength and the bravery to make this decision, and you will feel so much better and lighter when you do. So something is making is asking you to make some sort of decision. All right, with the two of swords here, you could either stay stagnant or stuck in a situation, or you can make another decision. Yeah, manifest. Okay, so you're manifesting. All right, you're always manifesting, whether you're aware of it or not. Manifest is Manifestation is based on your thoughts, and you're being asked to manifest consciously through positive thinking. So you'll attract into so you'll attract good into your life and you'll attract exactly what you're waiting what you're wanting guys be uh specific when you're trying to manifest things okay is what i just heard be very specific All right i want to manifest this i want to manifest that i want to manifest a job with six figures and what are those six figures okay so because they could be six zeros, you know, so focus, you need to focus on yourself, all right, so you're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working and towards what is, if something is not working, shift yourself to triumphant success, do you, heal, okay, so towards what is, blah, blah, blah. you're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working and towards what is paying extra attention to where you place your focus is the first step towards creating an amazing life so if you're focused on the negativity and you're focused on this breakup and you're focused on on the past and you're focused on on stupid shit that doesn't matter five years from now okay that's the type of things that are going to keep you stagnant so don't worry about it just move on it is what it is. This is already happening. It already happened. You want to always have a sense of like, you know, I need growth and expansion. What's going to make me grow? What's going to help me expand? What's going to heal my inner soul? What's going to allow me to be happy in the inside so that I could be happy in the outside as well? All right. And not fake that shit. So. Release. So it says here, you're being asked to release any toxic people or situation from your life. You deserve to be free from all the drama. And this is the first steps to achieving that. So release, okay, what no longer serves you. Say that in the comment section. I am releasing what no longer serves me. Okay, so smash that like button, guys, if you are releasing what no longer serves you. All right, next. Uh, da -da -da -da. Go ahead and pull some of these really quick. See what we got for you. Advice, spirit. Give us some advice. All right, so you could be dealing with a cancer, 621, 722. All right, you got here release. Some of you need to release a cancer. Okay, so release certain aspects of your life are coming to a close and important cycles ending. All right, work hard in silence. Let success make the noise. Said that earlier. All right, mental clutter blocks your soul from ascending spiritually. So don't start thinking about bad things. Okay, don't fall into this woe is me kind of energy where, you know, and I'm not talking to all of you, so don't get in the comments. This is for some of you. Okay, there's, there's, um, there's a way to deal with things, see things from a different perspective. If you're calling negativity into your life, you're going to get that shit. So, I am beautiful. Use affirmations. I am I am at peace with myself. I am in harmony. I love myself. You know, I am calling in what what who I am attracting, you know, I am attracting what attracts me back, you know, a, a reciprocal thing. All right? A person can love another so much that they sometimes push the other away. So, letting go of what no longer serves you allows what does to enter, prioritize what you're giving your time to and who you grind for. What else we got here? Your past is a life lesson. All right, so accept what is and let go of what was. All right, so guys, some of you, it's not going to resonate. This reading is not going to resonate. Just take what resonates, leave the rest for the other ones that need to hear this. All right, so surround yourself with like-minded individuals, Neptune, ideals, and intuition. All right, so your intuition is on point. But don't fret. You're almost at the finish line. You're getting close to something. 
All right? Some manipulation that you've experienced is slowly losing its grip on you. I feel like you guys are getting more confident. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio here. 1023 to 1121 could be significant. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. All right? You got Scorpio. And then you had... Cancer. So, solar plexus. Confidence. Be more confident. I feel like you guys are being more confident in yourself. What else we got? Aquarius in yourselves. All right, pouring that love onto yourselves. 119, 218. All right, drop your date of birth. Let's see if you guys have birthday twins in there. Yeah, you guys are tapping into your spiritual gifts. Okay, so continue doing that. All right, your throat chakra could be imbalanced. So that talks about lack of creativity and decisions and throat problems. Okay, maybe your communication could be coming off as wrong to some people. Okay, or something like that. Um, your perspective and interest changes when you shed another layer of hurt and conditioning. Anything else, Spirit? For advice. All right, so some of you could be dealing with a Taurus 420 to 520. Came out in the reverse. All right, game over, moving on, gaslighting energy, manipulating actions and psyche. All right, so you're moving on, it's game over. All right, you're not letting, you're not operating in a mind, uh, in that ego anymore. Okay, it is what it is. You're letting it go. You're being freed. Okay, karma's hitting somebody's pockets here. Okay, take pride in what you have built and be confident. All right, protection. You're protected and encouraged by the divine to continue on your path to stability. 444 could be significant, guys. You guys could be seeing those numbers. All right, so that's what I got for you guys. I love you guys. I'm sending you peace, love, and prosperity. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below. All right, see you in the next one. Peace. Bye-bye.